Right, so um, apparently unboxing videos are very popular on YouTube. So here's my unboxing video. Here's my box file. And open it up. And in here got a little 12 volt power supply. Switch mode's jobby. We've got uh, some scenic pieces for putting together box field industries. We have the world's worst bit of ballasting on uh, the um, head shunt or long siding for Boxfield Industries. And we have Boxfield Industries itself, which is, um, uh, it's got a um, couple of short sidings which will uh, cater for three trucks on there. Uh, this one can hold five. And we've got this little run loop here. Then the next one is we have filing nook, which is my uh, 533 ingle nook. Uh, so I decided, you know, I'll try different um, different layouts, different types. Uh, so I've got my little run loop here, and I've got my ingle nook. And finally, oh, here's the uh, point switcher for uh, Boxfield Industries. And we've got my uh, powered units here, so this is the power supply. Um, what I've done, I've, I've just tried a bit of scenery on here. I've got a uh, cross in there as an attempt to get a natural uh, stopping point for uh, for the loco when I'm doing shunting, but it's in the wrong place. Never mind, we learn. Uh, and I've decided to make my controller into a bit of a good shed, sort of factory type unit here. Uh, just to have a bit of mech calf, basically. And inside, there we go. Uh, we've got a 12 volt uh, switch mode power supply in there. So it's just a, a cheap LED dimmer controller there. This filing look connected up with the head shunt and the controller. And now we go from the head shunt into Boxfield Industries, which I've uh, pictured as some sort of um, factory goods area with inset rails. Something I've been wanting to do for years. And going through, this is the head shunt at the moment, just down the side of the building, between the uh, between the factory and the road. That's what I'm picturing there. 